Hi everyone and welcome to tonight's uh, Astro Vlog. Today I am testing out the Nano Tractor from Cytron, which is this little box right here and this control box right here. And the reason I'm trying this out tonight is because this is the smallest Star Tracker you can buy that I could get my hands on, <laughs> which has been lent to me by Ontario Telescope and Starfield Optics. Thanks, Steve. The reason why I'm trying out this Star Tracker in particular is because this is a very small, compact Star Tracker that's very easy to take with you when you go on camping trips or if you only have like a small camera like this and yet you still want to image the night sky without a lot of star blurs in there. Now, it does actually come in two parts. There's the lower part here, which is the controller, which has very simple north, south, and on-off controls and a control button. Now, according to the instructions, by making a few little changes here, you can adjust for if you're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere, but also more importantly, you can have it track the stars or the moon, um, which is very useful because if you want to do lunar, obviously it moves a little bit different than stars. Now, the main housing component up here is actually the motor, and it's currently running with a little tiny sight on it up at the North Star as I'm here imaging the Orion constellation behind me. Now, I've actually used this on a couple images um, and time lapses, which I will show you here from earlier in the summer. However, the biggest problem I had was in Ontario, we had a lot of smoke and clouds. So as you see those running, you'll see that there is a slight motion in the sky, and that's because the sight is pretty good, but it's not great in terms of like holding an object in the sky for the whole night. But it works well. Now, obviously this is designed for smaller cameras, so you're not necessarily gonna go and stick a professional full-frame camera on top of this, along with a professional full-frame lens. It's really great for small compact cameras, APS-C Micro Four Thirds, or if you happen to have the latest editions of the travel-friendly cameras like an A7C or some Sony lenses that are the small compact ones. Although I do know a lot of different brands are coming out with those compact lenses. That's what this is designed for. It's small, it's compact, it sits in your bag. Now, the main system here does run off of AA batteries, but I'm just gonna give you a tip. It does work great with the AA batteries until they start to run out. And then it slows down and it doesn't track the sky as well. What I found was that it actually has a USB connector in there for charging the batteries if you need to um, charge them. But more particularly, this is great for a power bank. And that's what I've actually done here is connected a power bank on it. Now, obviously when you start looking at all three, the, the, the head, the tripod, the controller, um, the power bank, it does start to add up. But the reality is that if you are a content creator or somebody who's going on camping trips, et cetera, you're already gonna have the power bank. You're already, like this is a very small thing that can fit into any uh, bag. And since so it doesn't have a lot of like extrusions, et cetera, it's very easy to hold and carry. Um, obviously you're gonna need a tripod. And I have tried this on tripods that are closer to the ground. It does work on tripods that are closer to the ground. However, trying to get that North Star is a little bit more difficult. So if you're doing that, you're probably gonna find a, a nice rock to have it sit on. Um, overall, you use the ball head on the top here that you have to provide yourself to sort of aim it where you want it to be, but I've generally found it works very well in that regard. So I'm gonna take this camera in here because it is kind of cold tonight and see how well I've been doing as I've been talking to you to show you sort of what kind of picture of Orion I can get when I'm using basically the stock lens and a uh, relatively now old GH4 to show you sort of that, yes, you can use the system even with older camera systems to get very nice wide field astrophotography, um, which is a great way to start if you're thinking about doing this field before going out and investing in a whole mount and telescope, et cetera, which is generally the recommended course of action if you wanna get into this hobby. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments and Thank you again for the sponsor, Steve at Ontario Telescope and Starfield Optics for lending me this equipment so I could give it a try and show you how it worked. 